something 100 feet above the water, but I was probably, I don't know, that was probably a, a mile away from where I was at. Um, and I thought, God, he, he better pull up or he's going to crash. So I was prepared to honestly run and take cover because I didn't know what was going on. If he had lack of flying skills or if he was just showing off. Um, but I, I got a little worried for a second. Um, and then he pulled pretty much straight up and kind of at an angle and he almost stalled the aircraft. Somehow he got it leveled back off and then made his way down towards Stelicum and Catron Island. And I, I turned away for a second, turned back, and he's in what appeared to be probably a 30-degree dive toward Ketron Island, so I turned away again to watch the sunset, turned back again, and that's when I heard the explosion, saw a bright pinpoint little area of uh, flame and the smoke, and I thought, oh my God, I think he just crashed. Officials at Seattle Tacoma International Airport say an airline employee took the aircraft without permission. Fighter jets were scrambled after the unauthorized takeoff. It's no passengers were on board the Horizon Air Q400 when it went down on Ketron Island. The sheriffs ruled out terrorism and given more details on the incident. Our information now is there was only one person on the plane, and that was the person flying the plane. I understand the person may have been doing some air stunts and whatever. Um, I know that some um, aircraft were scrambled from uh, the Air Force Base. There is no indication that this uh, person who was flying the plane was trying to damage it or attack anything. Um, that person crashed into the island.